Welcome everyone to Sunday service. I am so glad that you guys could join us. At this time, can we all rise and recite the Apostles' Creed together? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sat at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he becomes judge living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Alright, great job guys. Uh, let's review our Bible memory verse together. Okay, let's read it aloud. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sin. And it's from Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Great job, guys. Uh, let's take this time to review uh, last week's part together. And let's just read it aloud, okay? One, two, three. Because he will save his people from their sins. And it's from Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Great job. Let's do one more quick review together okay because he will save his people from their sins and we know it's from Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 great job because we were able to do it let's try to memorize the whole entire thing together okay all right um, let's give it a go ready set go she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Okay, let's keep reading it aloud to ourselves, and let's memorize it together. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Refer to the Son, give him the name Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. Okay, let's do our final review together. All right. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And we know it's from Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. All right, great job, guys. I knew you could do it. You know, let's remember, we just had Christmas time. And let's remember why Jesus came to earth, and it was to save his people, to save us from our sins. Let's always for keep that in mind, and let's never forget that. Let's all rise from our seats, and let's do a body worship together. All right, let's sing this song together. Let's remember who we put our hope in. Hope 
Uh, Father, we pray that, Lord, help us always remember how much you love us and how you care for us. Um, Father, help us keep this close to heart. We thank you and pray all this in your Son, St. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, uh, at this time, uh, Pastor Moses will come up and give us the sermon. So can we all give him a warm welcome as he comes up? Pastor Moses, woo! Yeah. Did everyone have a wonderful Christmas time? Uh, hopefully, uh, you not only had a great Christmas time, but you were able to think about uh, just how much God loves us and how He showed His great love through uh, His Son, Jesus. And so we celebrate uh, Jesus' birth. Um, let's get into today's word. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 49. Luke 2, 49. Let's read in one voice together. This is God's word. Why were you searching for me, he asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my Father's house? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for um, always being with us and always loving us. As we sing, we thank you for being our hope. And we pray that today you will help us to listen with an open heart and open mind. Help us not to get distracted for any reason. But may we put our focus uh, only on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What do you want to be when you grow up? When I was young, uh, many kids replied to that question with a doctor or lawyer. And some wanted to go the adventurous route and, and be a fireman or something like that. What do you want to be when you grow up? I think uh, it's been oh, over 25 years since I was a, a, your age. And so I feel like times have changed. That the things you guys want to do is so much different. But I want to ask you also, not just what you want to do in the future, but why do you want to be those things? Is it because you want to make money? You want to be successful? You want to have people say good things about you? You want to be normal? You want to be like everyone else? What's the reason? In our story today, we see Jesus had a father named Joseph. Everyone say Joseph. Joseph. And during those times, during Jesus' times, the son would follow the job of his father. For example, if your dad was a baker, then what would you be? A baker. You wouldn't really do anything else. You would do exactly what your father would do. And so because Joseph was a carpenter, someone who works and making things and, and works with tools and all that, what was Jesus? Jesus was also a carpenter. So he learned from his dad. And, and that's how a lot of uh, families operated back in the day. But Jesus also had another father. Father in heaven. Who is that? God our Father. And because um, sons followed what their fathers did, what did Jesus want to do? He wanted to do what God wanted to do. And what did God want to do? Right? That's why we read our passage today. And you might have said, uh, what does that passage mean? The, these words are a little bit changed, but the same uh, meaning. Okay, let's read together. One, two, three. Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? What this means is that Jesus was shocked that people didn't understand that Jesus wanted to do what God wanted to do. My father's business. Okay, that's why Jesus was at um, the temple learning from God's word. Because he wanted to do what God does. And what, does, what is God's desire? We, we don't want to say what's God's job. Because he doesn't really have a job. But what's his desire? It is to love. Uh, a pastor once said this. Let's read this together. One, two, three. Jesus came to show the heart of the Father, to show that God is indeed a God of love. If our different occupations and jobs, carpenter, baker, and all these things, are um, what they did, what God wants to do is to show love. And so what Jesus wanted to do was follow God. 
And so Jesus wanted to live a life that loved people. He wanted to love people. And so that's why he learned from God's word to see, how can I love people? And that's why he would later give his life to save us, to show us how much God loves us, to show, much, show how much Jesus loves us. And so, brothers and sisters, we are also God's children. And there might be many things you want to do. When I was younger, I wanted to be in sports somehow. To, uh, if you watch like a basketball game, you say, Oh, this person shoots from three. Whoa, awesome shot. I wanted to be that kind of sports caster or something like that. But my parents said, stop. Hey, don't do that. Right? And then I eventually became, by God's leading, a pastor. Okay? Um, there's many things that you might want to do. And there's no... Um, each job is equally important. You might think a doctor is so much more important than a baker, since we keep talking about baker, right? But God thinks each job is important, and in each job, what do we want to do? What is our goal? To make money? To be famous? No. Our main goal is to do what? Love. Love people like God, like Jesus. Whatever we do, not even our job, anything we do, our goal we want it to be. To be like God. And what's His desire? To love. So hopefully as we get older and as we discover different jobs and, and different career paths, we'll always have in mind, our, all, our desire will always be to follow our Father. To do what our Father does. Not just our earthly parents, but our Father in Heaven. Who his desire, main desire is to do what? To love. So let's also love and share God's amazing love to others. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for uh, showing us uh, uh, Jesus' life. And, and, and when Jesus was a child, um, he was very interested in your word. And that's because he not only followed his earthly father, Joseph's, uh, carpenter uh, pathway, career pathway, but he also wanted to follow his Father in Heaven. God, your desire, and your desire is to love. And so that's why Jesus wanted to learn more and more on how to love. Help us also, not just to be focused on what should I do, what should I be, how should I study, um, what college should I go to, which are all important things but also to have that desire of how can I follow my Father God's footsteps? How can I love people more? May that also be our main desire, whatever we do in the future. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Moses. Uh, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us out into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever. Amen. All right, great job, guys. Take care. Bye.